New Sports Central hoop season in full swing. Out of deal, Charles Ashley the third. Charles, we just went over the Jormio Classic champion, the Mayfield Trojans. Congratulations to them. Real grand, having a really good season. Yeah. It's time to start talking about them Albuquerque High Bulldogs. I know you want them to have a lot of credit because you're you know. a little bit out of control. <laughs> but hey, when you're seven and or no, you're seven or no. Yes. First thing I want to say though is looking sharp. You too, All of our man. apparel provided by Suits Unlimited. Yes, they provide our wardrobe here, make us look decent. Go visit them off of Manal, just past San Mateo, right across the street from Biles. Mm -hmm. Tell them that Charles and I sent you. They always make hey, us look good. They great. have a great Christmas special going on now for Suits. Go check it out. I believe it's 40% off. Like As I mentioned, all the Witcher fashion has come out. Get a nice scarf. Look good for New Year's Eve nice or something. <laughs> <laughs> just, you know, it's a good place. Go. I shop there. He shops there. You should shop there. You're a bit out of control with that <laughs> scarf. All right. You know who's out of control is the yeah. Albuquerque High Bulldogs starting 7-0. Mm -hmm. And they took on Highland Hornets this last week. Let's check out what happened. Coach Brown coming into town into Bulldog City. Jim Holzman, court, no, excuse me, at Highland as a steal right away. And then this is your guy, Charles Alonzo Armijo, up in an easy bucket. As you can see, that starts off the scoring. It's quickly 2-0. Um, Siddiqui Madonna. <laughs> Akuna Matata. <laughs> Madonna hits, and then this top of the key, that's Yannick Ilunga for hey, three. Good it's job. A, there Albuquerque go. high rolling shot. Look, good defense right here. They forced a turnover, and Alonzo Armijo, their leading scorer, matter of fact, takes it to the rack. Nice left hand move. Bulldogs rolling, running, running, running. That's going to be their whole theme all year. Right here, Tommy Holstreet. The senior guard knocks down the three. Pretty shot, Tommy. And Highland just couldn't buy a basket. And again, Bulldogs out running. Poultry, nice pass. Gabe bump. Euro step, excuse me, off the glass. Look at that student section there for Highland. Not much to cheer about in this one. Let's just be honest. Daniel Chavez McCree in the I outside. Like him, That's though. a triple. I like him. He hits it. So Highland's trying to stick around right. Wrong. Gabe bump gets going. Bump with a rebound, a little spin in the lane. Give me all that. And one. Gabe bump. Tries to finish the play, though, the free throw. It's no good. That's not good, right, Charles? Well, it's tipped right, right. back out to oh. bump in. Well, oh. Oh. around the back, a little crossover, a little jumper in the lane, and that's good to go. All Albuquerque high. That was pretty. And right here, the probably the biggest 5'8 center you'll ever find, Christian Enriquez gets the rebound, <laughs> scores, and one. Bulldogs run, rolling, rolling, gay bump. Pretty move. Did you see that? Spin it. That was gorgeous. Scoop it off the glass. And our guy, Alonzo Armijo, waits, your guy. waits, waits, waits. This is your guy. You know why? Because he's going to dial it up long range. Fuck it. Well, this is why Albuquerque High can be dangerous, Charles, is because they've got the outside game and the guards that could do this. Tommy Holtry with another triple, and you could just see the talent. Alonzo Armijo's going to step back. That's another three. Count that. Is it 52 to 14? Yeah, Deshaun Barker going to step back, but like you just said, 52 to 14. That's literally the score right there. 56 20. Deshaun Barker is going to get another triple off the screen, fade back. That's good. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And then just to, for a little icing on the cake, nice cut. Pretty basket. Al Pricky High runs away with this one. I stole your highlight there. It's the all end. good. And it's Deshaun Baker. I don't want his pops to get mad at me. His Pops was a really good hooper for Highland High way back in the day. So Deshaun Baker Jr., decent game. That might have been the second time that I've called him Barker and not Baker. He gonna Twice. find you. Deshaun <laughs> Baker, apologies. You must know someone named Barker. You know, I don't know what it is. <laughs> he had a couple nice triples, but let's just be honest. Yeah. Albuquerque High mopped the floor with Highland. It is. Skated through him. Coach Brown, it's going to be a rough year for him. They're young. He lost a lot of players from that last year's team that made it to the state tournament. Medina, who lost was a everybody. huge blanket. He lost everybody. Brian Medina was a safety blanket. When anything was uh, breaking down, go to Medina. He can get you something to happen for he you. He lost everybody. Charles, mm -hmm. Friday night, there was a big game at La Cueva. The La Cueva hadn't won one. Cibla mm -hmm. in that top ten, everyone yeah. expecting a lot from them. This was a big-time game for both teams. So from La Cueva High School, Friday night, hooping Charles, and you know who Malik Liddell is. Yeah. Give him all of that. The big fella. Liddell, <laughs> he can shoot that rock, yeah, too. Can. And then Moya's going to step back. That's a top of the key three. Rattled at home. It's good to go. La Cueva and C. Ray Trader blows all game. Christian Cunningham underneath Liddell. Yes, and one. This, this 
a pretty much a back and forth game right here. Maldonado wide open for the three to lefty. Lucky lefty three point stroke. I like it. Maldonado. And, hey, they're not gonna guard him, so gives buckets. Maldonado again. Wide open under the basket. LaQuaver pressing, pressing. Maldonado says, hey, leave me open. I'll make you pay. Three points. But out of control, wasn't it? Maldonado hey. was all over it. Well, here's Kahala, and you might hear his name again. That's a three in the corner. Kahala can shoot him and Horn. Devin Horn gets the steal, and he's going to go a little shimmy, coast to coast. Oh. Give me that. And then in transition, the Euro step. No, the Cunningham, though, the rebound off the window and in. Cunningham's just so athletic, so hard to guard down there because he's going to out jump you. And right here, look, right here, Jawad. Boom! That's good Bushier, to go. Here, looking good down there. And you know, look, Moya. Says, hey, I'm gonna get in on his action. With Quaver out running, that's what you gotta do against a good front court team. Get out and run. Moya with the finish from a good pass from Horn. And right here, Cunningham. Just, like I said, boom! Just too hard to stop. Malik Curry on the bucket. The jump step inside the lane. There's Cunningham with the slam. Look at the score, Charles. It's 33 29. Siebel is on top. They led most uh. of the way. Get that out, says Curry. Come on, Charles, you can't breathe that weak stuff in. Look at this, Cunningham, oh, up and in. Cunningham, were you a little tired there? Were you a little tired there? You didn't dunk at that one. <laughs> <laughs> but Jensen with the, give me those cookies. Nice steal, off the glass layup, that was pretty. And then your guy getting Maldonado, they, they just said, we're not gonna guard you. We're gonna let you shoot all day, and I'm gonna make you pay all day. Three, another one, and Cunningham, right here, a little scramble, Quaver gets the break. They're cruising, right, man? Uh, I'm chilling. Block party. Woo. Cunningham, get that mess out of here. Cunningham was nasty, Charles. Inside. Oh, yeah, that's Ooh. a slam. Two-handed jam that's for Cunningham. <laughs> and look, it's 48-46 at this point. Overacker, turnaround, jump. That's going to tie it all up. Less than a minute to go. Liddell's going to hit the free throw. It's a one-point lead. And let's hear what Scott Galletti had to say. Got it! Watch this again. Kahala steps inside the lane. Great call by Mr. Galletti. And yes, that's two points in the win. Kahala gets it. And LaCueva and Frank Castillo get their very first win of the season. They're one and four against Cibola. Let's see. How many finishes Frank, like this have you seen? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this year, one went our way and one didn't, so I've seen two this year. <laughs> we got beat at Rio Grande on the last second shot, and we were fortunate to make that shot today. Uh, yeah, because we've been close, I think, you know, and I thought we, you know, fought back. We got down 10 points, and uh, I don't know if it was in the third or fourth, uh, second or third quarter, but we were down 10 points, and then we just grinded it out, and, you know, actually we went up. We had a steal on the side over here by... Uh, uh, Jensen that put us up by two and, and you know we just I, I just felt really good about the fact that we never you know stopped playing we never gave up. LaCueva needed a win bad and bad. this is a good win too mm -hmm. against Siebel. The Cougars now have slipped up two games against District 2 6A mm -hmm. with the Eldorado Eagles and now LaCueva Bears. Matchup problem for them obviously Congratulations to Frank. He's five more wins closer to uh, Coach Holzman, so you know he's happy. But more importantly, they got that win, as you mentioned, which is great for the end of the season. Now you only have to wait two minutes because coming up next is three and out, and special guest voice of the Lobos, Robert Portnoy, will join us. Keep it right here on U Sports Central. Portnoy.